This is the last week of a four week shoulder strengthening program for baseball players. Again, this week the exercises are more challenging and we're building off some of the movements from previous exercises. Um, don't be afraid to, to push your limits and, and kind of mess up with some of these exercises. Some of them will involve dropping and catching in balls. Try and go as fast as you can while under control. That's where you'll, you'll start to develop some skill and some coordination with your shoulder. This exercise is a progression on the ball drops that we were doing last week. Last week we were focusing more on quick, um, small movements. This one's gonna be a little bit slower, still fast, but the motion's gonna be a lot bigger. So Austin, again, has some lacrosse balls in his hands. Um, or you can use baseballs at home. He's gonna be kind of in that T position with his arms out to the side. Um, and for the most part, you only wanna be moving one side of the, probably your throwing arm on this exercise. Austin still has his left arm out to the side, and that's just for more stability, um, also to engage kind of the, the left side of the, the shoulder blade as well. Now the motion here is he's going to be kind of throwing the ball up in the air and then kind of bringing his hand down to catch it. So you might start that, Austin, just on the right side, right? And the goal here is to try and get the, the ball to float for as long as possible. So you're trying to throw it up in there and almost trying to like, you're catching it as close to the ground as possible. Um, a little bit bigger motion. This is going to replicate kind of the follow through motion, some of the muscles that need to, to decelerate the arm. Um, I'm going to do it one more time here. Uh, this is a, um, it's a tough one, um, that's why we're only doing it on one side. And if you, you know, you're trying to learn skill, you're trying to learn coordination as well, so don't get disheartened if the ball starts to roll away from your hand a little bit more. Don't be afraid to fail. This is another ball drop exercise. This will be the extra arm rotation variety. Same thing as with the, the tees with the bigger uh, motion, is we're trying to get the ball um, out of the hand for as long as possible. Um, so this one, Austin, you'll kind of be in that same like arm slot type position. The elbow's going to be a little bit higher than the shoulder. And what he's going to be doing is kind of throwing the ball up in the air and then catching it while trying to keep his elbow as, as close to still as possible, right? I mean, that should be your, your goal. It's never going to be perfectly still, um, depending on your throw. Uh, but the, the goal is to try and get the ball and the hand to stay apart for as long as possible. Um, and again, we're working on kind of the deceleration component of throwing. Uh, if you want, you can have your arm out to the side on the left side to help kind of stabilize your spine at the same time there if you wanted to. Um, but again, primarily just work in the throwing side with this one. Good. This next exercise is a bird dog in a push-up or a tall plank position. Uh, a bird dog is where you're going to be lifting one arm and then the opposite leg. You should be thinking about trying to kind of reach out to try and maintain some, some length in your body as you're doing it. And what's going to happen then is your, your body's going to feel unstable and it's going to want to rotate your trunk. So your goal is to try and keep your low back as flat as possible as you're doing it. So Austin, you mind demonstrating for a second? He's got a nice wide base of support with his feet, um, but go ahead. And what this requires you to do is you've really got to be strong through your stomach, but you also have to be strong through whatever side is still on the ground um, with your arm. Uh, if you try and maintain a little bit of pressure through your hand into the ground to lift your body up off the ground um, so that it's not sinking down, that can help with some of the stability. Now this is a pretty challenging exercise. If you feel like you can't keep your back stable, what you can do is you can kind of flex your knees. So you're, you're starting in now more of a, a bear position where you've got your knees underneath your hips. His knees are not on the ground. Um, and then do the same thing where you're going to be reaching up and out with the arm and the leg. Uh, it should be a, a little bit easier, and you're still thinking about the same components of not letting the back rotate. All right, so this is another variation on a plank. Austin's got one lacrosse ball or one baseball in his hand, and basically what you're gonna be doing here is in a push-up position, you're gonna be with one hand tossing the ball up in the air, catching it with the other. Now, your goal is, again, try not to let your trunk shift side to side here. You want to keep your feet a little bit wider to help with that. Um, and Austin, you mind kind of starting here and kind of showing if you throw it a little bit higher, right, you've got more time to transition. And really what you're focusing on is how fast can you get on and off of your hand. You want to make sure that your body's not kind of sinking down towards the ground as you're catching it, right? Um, you're still trying to maintain that pressure away from the, the wall, or the, uh, excuse me, the ground. Um, and then also you might try to go a little bit faster here. You kind of really show that your, your goal is to try and build speed. That should be the challenge with this exercise. So you'll notice now all of a sudden 
the ball is not going up quite as high, and he's getting off the ground a lot faster. Good. All right, so this is gonna be a version of a push-up. Um, what Austin has in front of him, he's got two sliders. Uh, that's what we're using on our floor here so that he'll be able to slide out. Um, at home, you probably wanna find something uh, that'll slide on hardwood, carpet. Uh, usually the best thing that we recommend is a dish towel on hard or tile floor. Um, and what he's gonna be doing, he's got one underneath each hand. He's gonna be in a tall or a push-up position. And then what he's gonna be doing is, as he's kind of going into a push-up, one hand is gonna be reaching kind of up and out at almost like a 45 degree angle, and he's gonna push himself back up. And he's gonna alternate side to side here. Now, this is really gonna work the arm that is not moving. It's almost like a single arm push-up. You are gonna get some help from the other arm, but you're kind of training your body as it's going out, almost into your arm slot position, trying to train a lot of the muscles in the front of your, your shoulder. Now this is a fairly challenging exercise. If you feel like this is too much or it's too much weight, because it will be a lot of weight on one hand, you can go down to your knees here, um, still kind of in that, that plank position, and then do the same thing with the upper body. Should still be challenging uh, if you feel like you can't do it all the way up on your toes. All right, so this is an exercise on the body under arm uh, rotation that we were doing against the wall, I think two weeks ago. Um, this, well, we've got a, a band hooked up about, you know, chest height, maybe a little bit lower here, but at home you wanna do it about chest height. Uh, think about it, you could use a, a Jagger band. You can use really any resistance band with this one. Um, and what Austin's gonna be doing here, he's got both hands kind of out to his side. Again, his elbows about shoulder height, if not a little bit higher. Um, his kind of hands are in line with his body. And what he's going to be doing is trying to keep his hands still as he takes some tiny steps to turn his body side to side. So if he's doing this right from the back, you really shouldn't see his hands move side to side, but his body is trying to turn as far as it can. And what's going to happen is that as he turns away, like his left shoulder blade right now is going to be kicking off, and as he turns the other way, the right shoulder blade is going to be kicking off. Um, again, this is good to kind of teach your body how to get into a proper scap load. Um, and also build some strength across the back of your upper back.